this session, we're going to take a look at our types of color separation options with Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0. We actually have three different types of color separations that you can auto generate with Simple Steps 4, those being vector or simple vector separations, separations to grayscale images, and of course, separation to half tone ripped images. Go ahead and take a look at a graphic here. I'll go to Window and Untitled. Here I have my Tiger graphic. Go ahead and go to Advanced Tools and we'll open up our Simple Steps. Remember, if you've got CorelDRAW 7, you have to go through the Advanced Tools Docker. Go ahead and bring this into my view area here. Go ahead and select everything. I'll go to Color Management. Go ahead and create a selection palette. You want to convert everything to Pantone colors before you go to the Separation tab. Go ahead and select my black, my green, my orange, my yellow, and my white. One-click conversion. Select OK. And then I'll go here to my Separation tab. Now here I can turn off or turn on my registration marks. I can also create my own registration marks and use those. We'll cover that in another session. Now from here I'm set up to do a simple vector separation. I have no raster type selected or no conversion. I can still generate a white base. I can still have that tinted or untinted and I can still do a don't choke white. If I just go ahead and click on generate separations, then Simple Steps will very quickly go through and create a set of vector color separations for me as vector objects. Nothing is converted to bitmaps. You can see that this is 269 objects. I could also still select an enhanced white if I wanted to here under the vector separations. Go up here to layout and we'll go ahead and go to delete page. Now will delete page 2 through page 6 and select OK and get back here to page 1. Next thing we have is we have our raster type conversions. Now here I have two options. I have half tones and grayscale. I can separate the grayscale images. Let's say I want to send this out for someone else to print it. They're using a different rip. The next thing we have here is we have our raster type options. And here I have half tones and grayscale. Now if I want to separate the grayscale, I'll go ahead and select that. You notice that I no longer have the options for the half tones, that being the LPI or the angle. But I can still generate my white base, I can still make that untinted or tinted, and I can still choke that, etc. In fact, I can still do all the trapping, spreading, gutters, etc. that I could do with the halftones, but we just do those as grayscales. Now this might be useful if you need to send your separations out for someone else to print them, and they use a different RIP than what we have here in the Simple Step Smart RIP 4.0. Of course, I'd recommend actually using our halftones, especially where the interlocking is concerned because of the printing event benefits associated with the interlocking halftones. But if I go ahead and click Generate Separations here, and we'll let that process, go ahead and see it very quickly. We'll have a set of grayscale color separations. And of course, if we've done trapping, spreading, choking, etc., all that would have been done for us automatically in our grayscale separations. And here we can see we have our Pantones here. There's our white, etc. And your enhanced white will also work here also under the grayscale separation. I'm going to go up here to Layout, and I'm going to go to Delete Page, and I'll go here and change this to Page 2, and we'll go to Through Page, and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll up here through Page 6. I'm going to be back to Page 1, and finally we have under our raster type here our halftone conversions. This is where we can do our halftone ripping. Here we can select a white base, we could go with Tinted, we can Auto Choke that, we can do all the same things in Grayscale. Now we can't do these things in the Vector, of course. I can go through and instead of trapping this time, I'll give this a spread. I'll come down here and actually I'll go ahead and interlock my white base. I'll go ahead and go with enhanced white again here and then we can come down here, interlock our regular white and then our orange and our yellow. We can go ahead and interlock those half tones and we can select all black output for all black printing. Now if you have an inkjet that has CMYK color and if you use rich black as opposed to simple black, you'll still get a very dark dot even though you're not printing with all black. Go ahead and click on generate separations and the simple steps will automatically go through and generate my halftone rip color separations for me directly in Corel Draw. Once simple steps is finished processing my halftone color separations, I'll be on my halftone preview page and then I'll be able to review all of my different halftone color separations directly as pages here in Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here relating to our color separation types. Once again, vector, grayscale, or ripped halftone color separations all automated coming directly out of Simple Step Smart Rip version 4.0. And we'll continue in our next training session.